Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and before we get into the video, I want you to go down to the comments right now, literally right now, and tell me how you feel about Halo Infinite, about 343, about where the future of Halo is going, and then once the video has ended, I want you to go back to that comment and respond to it, and just let me know if I've changed your mind just a little bit. I don't expect to just like completely overturn people's feelings with... 343 or Halo. I just don't think that that's possible. This is the very, very early stages of, you know, kind of turning the perception around. But I think that there's enough evidence already, enough things that have happened over the course of the last few months that kind of shows the new philosophy of 343, the leadership, and where Halo is going in general. But before we get into the video, look, 99% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. If you just subbed to the channel. We would be like at 25,000 subscribers right now. So please, if you enjoy Halo content, if you like unbiased, you know, news type of videos, discussion videos, that's me all day. I definitely hold people accountable when they need to be held accountable, but I'm also not afraid to sing the praises. So let's get into the actual video. So the Halo holiday community live stream happened and it was kind of billed as a play date where you know people would get the ice unicorn nameplate and stuff like that it didn't really seem to be like this huge world premiere type of thing that they did before but i think with everything that had happened in the past month with these surprise updates and the winter update overall that uh people were kind of excited about this and sure enough 343 spends like i mean it was close to four hours i'm pretty sure on the live stream talking about the new armor cores the bandit rifle the equipment the btb map forge updates and a ton more this is another one of those things where they they under hyped and over delivered on that hype and i think that that's a, a good philosophy to have as somebody who works in marketing and public relations this is kind of like an easy low-hanging fruit kind of thing to do especially when you're trying to turn around the perception of the franchise you know a lot of people have been dogging halo and halo infinite and 343 so this is a good way to start building back trust with the community we got the custom game browser like three months early fantastic good it needs to be in the game and they did it so some of the things they show off is the new spi or mirage armor core which i'm a huge fan of i think some people have been complaining about the shoulders but i actually i overall i love it and i can't wait to see what other types of like helmets or armor actually gets brought with it we then see the chimera armor core which looks like a crisis game armor core i can't wait to see what like the fracture story is around that saw like the new season three main menu thing so that makes it feel like we're getting closer to that relaunch of the game they did some updates with forge uh being able to do developer maps coming in season three and there was a quote about how that allows players to open up parts of maps that were previously locked hmm they've added new forerunner objects for season three and forge there's a new btb developer map that they played on and oh my god it is already, I haven't even played on it. It might, it could be like a terrible map to play on, but man, it is gorgeous. It's already my favorite BTB map. I cannot wait. Something else that they're correcting that has got a lot of backlash is the Watchdog coding. So they're adding in a new one called the Watchdog Neo. It makes it seem like it's the original coding that they had shown in the first place. And they're not taking away the old coding. They're going to let you have that one too. So it's, it's cool. Good for them. They showed off the bandit rifle a little bit, not in gameplay from what I can remember, but they do show off the shroud screen armor ability. They go on to talk about how Halo 5's Plaza will come back in Season 3 with a developer-made Forge remake. That's good. Going back to, to the Forge, Sean Barron also said that they tried super hard to get a Forge playlist into the game before Christmas, but they weren't able to do so. They say that there's a lot of moving parts to make it happen, such as, like, performance issues and spawn problems and stuff like that. But please, oh my god, make that a priority. They also kind of hinted at or, you know, just confirmed that there was a design that was approved for a career progression system and it's expected to land sometime in the future in a season or so. But I think this is, well, I'm not trying to get everybody hyped up, but I feel like it's one of those things where, you know, we might get it a little bit early to test it out. All of this is to say that I feel like the philosophy has changed at 343, especially from leadership. And I think that that has been sorely needed. 
these these surprises these you know content drops these little interactions that we're having with 343 you know developers and community managers with the community it just feels like we're getting back on track the game's not perfect right now i understand that there's still issues to be resolved but what I really hope happens is that other members of 343 and Microsoft are seeing how the community is responding to these, these, these little pieces of feedback being implemented into the game and move that into other parts of the franchise. I'm looking at you, Halo TV show. I really hope season two turn it around. I think a huge problem that you see sometimes with developers of games is that this is the way... We want you to enjoy the game. This is the way we want you to play the game. This is the way we want you to enjoy the franchise. And they kind of lose sight of why people like the franchise in the first place. The thing is, especially in like marketing and PR, you cannot be infallible. You can't be biased. You can't have an ego because that is the killer. You take this feedback you acknowledge that feedback, you try to implement some things, you explain why you can't implement it, and people will feel better. We're starting to see the fruits of the community's feedback start to grow. Season three to me, look, I've been saying it, you know, for a couple months now, season three to me is where things are gonna pop off. Like, we're, we're gonna be into the regular seasonality, there's no more extended seasons, there's no, you know, winter updates. We are going to hit it, and we are going to be running with it. And that's when I think that we'll see a huge marketing push. I personally didn't expect, you know, thousands and thousands of people to come back for Forge and custom games. I think that it's important to have those things in the game, the foundation. But what I really think is, again, they're just building out the foundation. And then Season 3, we'll see, like, a marketing push to get people back in the game. Maybe they'll bring on some big streamers. They're already kind of doing that, you know, uh, working with Adobe and stuff. And these big streamers are making their own Forge levels. So, and again, once they start getting that Forge playlist in, just giving players more options, I think that we're, we're on a good track. So, again, let me know in the comments down below how you feel now about the game. If you are a little bit more excited, if you're a little bit more, you know, you have a bit of an open mind now. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. It means a lot to me. It really helps out the channel. We're a small Halo YouTuber, you know, channel, community. And I appreciate every single one of you. And make sure you subscribe. So I will catch you guys around the ring. Peace!